Jackson Wilson, genius conspiracy theorist who lives at home um, with his family still. He's in his mid thirties. He may or may not have a bunker that he built with his father in his backyard underground. Um, and um, yeah, it's just, it's, it, it's really, I'm, I'm, I'm really interested to, to, to hear what, hear what 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 you think of the of of, of the show and the story after we see it because who else is in it oh man starring sasha lane as jessica high john cusack's in it rain wilson's in it uh ashley lathrop dan bird jessica roth myself and javon wanna wanna walton play the nerds Corey michael smith is uh john cusack's son in it uh, Thomas Christie, Christopher Denham is going to blow people's minds as Arby. Uh, and then Farrah McKenzie rounds out the regulars um, as uh, um, uh, uh, an outsider who joins the nerd crew in the search for Utopia to try and save the world. Uh, please, I hope you succeed. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? Right. And then, and then I do believe... You start shooting season six soon. Is that happening? Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I hope so. Um, yeah, word on the street is that we're going to start shooting in October. But I don't think we're uh, legends is like the perennial uh, ugly stepchild. I don't think we're out in the world until like, tw like middle, late 2021. I don't know. They don't tell me anything. I just I just want to I just want to go back to work. Like, I just want to work. I know? get it. I, yeah, I, well, the thing was, we finished this last October. Wow. So before the pandemic and there, a part of the backdrop of Utopia is that there is a viral pandemic going on. <laughs> it's actually called, it's actually called the Stearns flu named after Rain Wilson's character, Michael Stearns. And so we've been getting a lot of questions in the press if we think that um, it'll be a little too much for uh, people to handle, considering that there's, you know, an actual viral worldwide viral pandemic going on. And, um, you know, we knew that question was coming up, but one of the things that I like to continue to encourage people to think about is that our fictional world of utopia um, isn't going through the same sorts of, even though it's the same time period, we're not going through the same sorts of civil unrest that America's going through right now. We're not going through the um, worldwide craze of re reliving fascism and demagoguery that the world's going through right now. And we're a very science forward team. Everyone believes science is facts, facts are truth. And that's what we strive to find out. So, you know, with those three right. differences happening, right? Uh, Very different. Yeah, with those three diff differences happening, uh, you know, I, I don't think the backdrop of viral pandemic is going to push people away. If anything, I think it's going to pull them in to show what a different state of people dealing with that as the backdrop, not the main focus, right. could... Um, how they could handle it, how they could proceed with it, what it's like people working together and not making it about <sighs> politics and elections and also, things like it's that. it's not, you know, I, I'm a little bit worried about like things that are being made right now that are like, the, are gonna be a quarantine show. Like I don't, I personally would not wanna watch something like that. But yeah. what you guys made, it's not that you were making it in response to this pandemic. Like it, it right. just happened to be a piece of. Yeah. It That's just, yeah. yeah, you know, it's, it, 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 it's funny, you know, the world works in mysterious ways. Right. And that's just, I mean, it's, that's in trivia. <laughs> it is, it is right. Like, I, like no one can, you can't, you can't plan that. That's better than any writing has ever been. Like, you know, um, art, art is magical that way sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if magical is the right word, but yeah. Well, it's magical. It's invasive. Hopefully it's moving. Hopefully it's thought provoking, right? You know, yeah. hopefully it's entertaining at the same time. You know, uh, one of the things that I've been enjoying so much lately about work in general, I feel like everyone's kind of clued into it just doesn't have to be a drama. It doesn't have to just be a comedy. It doesn't just have to be a, a, an immense thriller. Like there are ways to layer in a bunch of variety for a bunch of different characters so that we get like the most fulfilling sort of experience from the story that we're watching unfold.
which I just, you know, I mean, I think you have to do that in the era that we're in, which um, John Landgraf coined as peak TV with over 500 scripted series being produced every year. Like you, you need that. Otherwise people are like, nah, they'll just turn it off super quick. Well, also like, I, I feel like it mirrors, it, it like feeds um, something that we crave uh like narratively actually and even like story wise it's like i don't i don't people even when something serious is going on in life like it doesn't mean that humor is lacking it doesn't mean that there's not this this character who says the wrong thing and like you know <laughs> like i i'm more interested in that and like mixing genres too which i think like some shows are doing really successfully yeah. right now yeah. um so yeah i'm i'm excited by people like just getting a little bit out of like these like pitch boxes which you know like i think hollywood used to make you kind of be like it's a this with a this you know and yeah. Like you have to... yeah. yeah when harry met sally part 37 but sci-fi <laughs> i'll have what she's having in the galapagos galaxy of galapagos i don't know oh god um so who's your uh, we, we we haven't okay we haven't Did we do some questions um, yeah we haven't jumped on oh someone asked what was the show i was talking about it's utopia on amazon prime september 25th check it out um real quick while questions are coming in uh people jot your questions down we are ready to answer them who yeah. are you picking who, who who who's winning the nba finals in this bubble i don't know I don't know. I'm a little bit, I'm a little bit disconnected and like a little bit uh, just loving the social justice tilt of everything that's going on with the NBA and with the WNBA and with all, with all sports too. Like uh, yeah. Naomi Osaka and the, I don't know if you're watching the U S open yesterday with Brianna Taylor. I'm, I'm just, I'm loving how yeah. sports people are using their power and their voices. I'm, I'm quite enjoying that. Who are you? You tell me that you're, you're more well, of a you know, I, I'm, I'm because of how um, devastatingly forward the Milwaukee Bucks have been about everything and kind of taking charge. Um, and the fact that, you know, like Giannis is like a beast up and down and they're a really good defensive team. I would like to see them I'm excited to see have them. the well. possibility in the yeah. finals. Yeah. Um, I, but when it comes down to it, seven games, I just don't know if anybody's good enough to take down LeBron or Kawhi, which I think that's what we're getting to in the Western Conference Finals, which might be the best series of the whole season. But then you can't discount Toronto, yo. Like, no. they don't have Kawhi Leonard anymore, and they're, they're knocking people all over, although Boston won the first game, right? Yeah. You know, what, you, and I'm a, you know I'm a Celtics fan. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I like that Celtic squad. I like Brad Stevens. I appreciate Danny Ainge for a very long time as a basketball enthusiast. Um, and, you know, Jason Tatum is, is a star, man. And so glad they got rid of Kyrie. Sorry, brother. Your handles are amazing. But outside of, that, outside of that Cleveland team, like, you're, we'll, see, we'll see what him and KD can do next year in Brooklyn. Hopefully yeah. that's the right pairing for – for you know his immense immense talent to just yeah. blow up. and then we can go I, to that game yeah guys we once as research for for a piece of theater went to a nets game we did like a prominent artistic director and we it was did. really fun yes it was and uh uh it was fun it was, it was really fun i wore my derrick rose hoodie that time i remember that i don't remember um, that um, all right, Desmond, I have some questions for you. And mm -hmm. wait, I saw some good ones. Da, 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 da. I think that's saying, what else are you doing during pandemic? That's, um, oh, favorite thing to do during quarantine? Sleep when I can. I got a nine month old, y'all. When I get to sleep and like it be uninterrupted, it's the best thing in the world. 